you know, the men's one, the one, two, we want to talk about the belt. And I think women's four is very interesting because Quinera Hayes pulls off the upset based on seed time coming in. Post-Olympics, she had run two times in 50-second range, two times at 51, right? She was trending away from the 49 shape that she had run once at the Olympics and also at the trials. But then in a throwback performance, pulls out a 49-88 here off of a quick start to get that crucial bye to the 2022 World Championships. And she beat Solid field, obviously Miller Weibo not there, but Paulino, who's a silver medalist in Tokyo, she got her by eight one hundredths of a second. Uh, Sada Williams has been running really well. McPherson was solid throughout the year. So Hayes, a, a big boost for U.S. women's quarter miling. As if they needed any more help, they're going to get four into to Eugene next year. Yeah, I'm trying to bring up who got fourth at the trials. Uh, it's past. We are in the 400. I'm trying to bring that up. Um, Kendall Ellis. Was that Ellis? So Kendall Ellis got, okay. Yeah, Kendall Ellis got fourth at the trial. So athletes like her, Kaylin Whitney, who was in this race, mm-hmm. Lena, Ur- Lena Irby, even Felix, if she's planning on coming back one more time, this mm-hmm. opens up a door, right? You now have a 49-second woman you don't have, you don't have to worry about because you know what, no matter where she finishes in the U.S. – uh, trials in 2022 she doesn't she doesn't count towards the top three so a mm-hmm. uh, big win for the women who run the quarter mile in the u.s um <laughs> maybe i'm not i mean we'll talk more about the how the buy is going to affect uh 2022 later on in this podcast mm-hmm. but the u.s spoiler alert they got 15 athletes with buys so that mm-hmm. means 15 events usa is going to send four people which is mm-hmm. A lot. It's you know almost half of the amount of buys you could get. So it's mm-hmm. incredible. Um, yeah, I didn't see this coming. I thought Hayes's season had that big high, obviously at the trials and the Olympics. Remember, she wasn't on the four by four, so she doesn't come home with an mm-hmm. Olympic medal in the four by four. She kind of looked burnt out in that Olympic final, and mm-hmm. her race before this one, she didn't run too well. She finished like seventh or eighth. And for her to like put it all together in this race, which is probably one of the more valuable moments to have a perfect race. Mm-hmm. Sure, she probably would have preferred to be on the 4x4 four four at the Olympics or medal at the Olympics. But this is the next best thing you can get. She guaranteed herself a full year of staying in the sport, relevant, getting ready for another chance at getting a global medal. Like, she... She's going to worlds. Like she, she's she got her moment. Like this is, she got her mm-hmm. second Olympic trials win type in a in a weird way. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. She just she got it early. She got her twenty twenty two U.S. championship berth in twenty twenty one and not at Hayward Field, but in Zurich. And yeah, that semi that she ran at the Olympics was awesome, forty nine eight. But then could only get seventh in the final, which kept her off the relay or I don't, maybe she was going to be off the relay regardless based on how many women they were bringing in from outside the 400. But she obviously, she had a bad beat in that four by four selection. Cause she, in essence, you know, never really got a chance to get on the prelim to get a gold medal. And she could have at least at the very least, if the schedule worked out, you would have her on there because people who uh, were slow, slower than her at the trials, lower down in the pecking order, got on the, First round, so they were able to get a gold medal, and that was just bad luck, kind of the like the fluke with this with the how the schedule worked, and obviously just how the personnel is shaking out now in the women's quarter. So, congrats to her, um, big race for for Quinera Hayes at at the right time here, right at the end. It's interesting. She opens the season with a forty nine nine, then the middle of the season at trials forty nine seven, forty nine eight, but in between that, there's like some fifty ones. There's some, like I said, two two fifty point eights post Olympics, and then oh, another forty nine at the end. So big beginning, big ending here for Quinera Hayes. Uh, 